Hey YouTube, Mr. Terry back here once again for another History Teacher Reacts video. Alright, today I am checking out uh, some of the most recommended videos that I get on um, Discord and in the, uh, in the YouTube comments. And that is the Epic Rap Battles of History. So um, I know a bit of uh, a little bit about this series, but um, I haven't seen all their like all their stuff. So there's a lot of stuff that yeah I haven't seen before um, that we'll definitely check out. So I know they combine you know some of this historical f fact I believe, and then using it to sort of diss each other and you know uh, rap battle style. So looking forward to check out some of these. I went to their kind of um, list of all their videos and I see some of it's like historical figures, some of it's not. Sometimes it's like a historical figure versus some other current figure or something like that. So basically just what I did was I uh, went and found the ones where it looks like you have two historical figures really, I guess, going at each other. So uh, that's kind of how I, I, I wanted to organize this to, to keep in the theme of our channel here, which is um, history focused. All right, well, before we check this out, um, uh, disclaimer, I know so the, these epic rap battles um, sometimes have some language and uh, adult content, I guess, to them. So I wanted to make sure that uh, you know that beforehand. If, if I know in advance that there's videos like that, I want to make sure I, I um, uh, share that with you because I know this is kind of an educationally focused uh, channel and it, and it is. Um, so if you're in a setting, a classroom setting or some kind of setting where that wouldn't be inappropriate, um, uh, just letting you know that now. So anyways, um, I don't condone or, you know, uh, uh, um, you know, anything that happens in these videos I react to, they're not my words. They're not, you know, I don't yeah, condone anything or any there. I'm just reacting to them. So it's not me. Right. So <laughs> anyway, I think we'll go ahead and get started here right now. Now, the first one that popped up, I, I went, I think I pulled it up by most popular first, and the one that popped up first was uh, Rasputin versus Stalin. So that should be really interesting, seeing kind of the Russia theme here. So I'm excited to check this one out. And then um, we'll watch probably about three more of those today. And uh, the other videos, uh, might make another video another time reacting to those. So, all right, well, let's go ahead and get started. I don't know exactly how I'm going to react as far as like am i gonna be stopping a bunch of times i mean i see the videos are like two three minute long so maybe i play through them i don't know what to expect right here especially with the first time doing this but we'll just let's just see how it goes all right okay let's uh let's get started rasputin versus stalin let's just start off right away with russia here we go rasputin <laughs> Hold on, let's just take a look. All right, yep, got the beard. Scraggly looking robe. All right, so looks like they nailed that. Let's see what they got for Stalin. Gotta have the, you know, the, the, the face caterpillar. Right, how can you not have that with Stalin? His, you know, most famous feature there. All right, let's get it going. Here we go. Let's see what we got. Cool mustache, Wario. Rabbits with a man on to me. Sorry, oh, how many dictators does it take to turn an empire into a union to ruin a state? It's a disgrace what you did to your own people. Your daddy beat you like a dog and now you're evil. <laughs> For Georgia, sweet Georgia, and history books unfold ya. As a messed up motherfucker bit in the mind. You're a superpower, but it paid the price. With the endless destruction of Russia, you're a man of steel, I spit kryptonite. Oh, I mean, man of steel. I can end you with a whisper to your eyes. Looked into my eyes, you perverted witch. Ooh, See the soul of the man who made Mother Russia his bitch. Yeah. Think I give a fuck about my wife? My own son got locked up in prison, and I didn't That's save my right. life. You got up easy when they pick that loose cock. I think you're in a nuke set of trench and shot. Your whole family shot. shot. All your wizard friends shot. Anyone who sold you pierogi shot. Starve me for days till you waste away. I even crush motherfuckers when I'm laid insane. Kind of let it to Trotsky out of the picture. Drop the hammer on you harder than I bitch slapped Hitler. I have no pride for you who oh. ruined everything. I Another player enters. Oh, we got Lenin here. Very close to the wife, that's for sure. But your loyalty shriveled up like your right hand, man. My whole future was bright. You let your heart grow dark and stop the greatest revolution since the 
That's true. One end would probably hate both of those guys. Oh, we got another? Oh, Gorbachev. Yep, you did. of McDonald's. <laughs> you need a shower, <laughs> and you all need to learn how to handle real power. All right. Oh, one other. This Putin? Got to be Putin. He's got his shirt off. <laughs> All right. That is, okay. That was great. Let me just go back some slides and just okay. So here, here's what we got. So again, all right. So we started off with uh, Rasputin. They nailed a bunch of his details. He was a monk, very close to the wife of uh, of um um or the the wife of the czar, right? Then you got Stalin. Yep, just totally just went on his brutality. You know, none of that was really wrong. Yeah, the uh, his son was in prison. Um, I believe wasn't it his his son got imprisoned and if i remember i didn't didn't he try to commit suicide try to if i remember this story right like stalin's son was trying to um commit suicide by shooting himself and he shot himself and he didn't die from it and i thought i remember hearing a story that stalin replied by saying uh, he can't even shoot straight <laughs> it's like horrible to his son there uh, but yeah, they nailed the brutality there. Then Lenin comes in and just rails both of them, right? He's like, hey, we were like on this path towards greatness, right? And it's like, you you guys forgot all about that, you know what I mean? And a lot of times people will try to like um, put, put, especially like Lenin and Stalin as like the same type of person with the same ideas. And that's just, that's definitely not true. So yeah, he comes in and kind of rips them both. And, you know, they kind of lost the ideas of the revolution and, and ruined Russia and stuff like that. Then you, then you fast forward, right? So you get, you get jump into the 1980s, you get Gorbachev here, who is the last um, Soviet or the last communist leader of Russia, brought in Glasnost um, up there, which means openness, making the government more transparent and that sort of thing. And into modernization and kind of, you know, going after both of them, I guess, that they over overdid their power. Then you got Putin, of, uh, of course, here. Love how they have him shirtless there because there's all those pictures of him, you know, because he's all in good shape uh, doing stuff out there or, uh, shirtless. And he's coming in. That's that's great and super cocky, you know, that way. So, <laughs> well, a lot of fun little history in there, you know. Um, Definitely wouldn't show that necessarily in a, like my classes just because of some of the, the content. But, I mean, you can't lie. It's pretty funny, though. <laughs> All right. Well, that was awesome. I hope the rest can be that good. Um, who won? Oh, I don't know. I mean, Lennon kind of made some good points and saying, hey, you guys all messed up and all this stuff. So I don't know if, if somebody won necessarily, but I don't know if you think somebody won, I guess uh, put that in the comments. We can talk about it. But if you put why you think someone won, say why. All right. Always say why. All right. Fantastic. Let's go ahead and then jump to the next video, which I pulled up um, next tab here. Let's click to that. We got uh, George Washington versus William Wallace. So these guys have really nothing in common, but it doesn't necessarily mean anything. Let's see what if they have debating points, I guess, with each other. Because like with the the last one with Russia, it's all about Russia. So you have this, like this you have this um, commonality of things to to talk about. So how are they going to be able to mix people of different regions and different time periods and diff very different lives? Um, we'll see if they can kind of put that together. All right, George Washington versus William Wallace. Let's see what they got. Gotta have the wig, okay. 
All right, so we got Sky. Yeah, Skyland. We got the got to have the kilt going on. Okay. All right. Both both characters look good. By the way, in the last video, great, great, just like beat and flow to these guys. These guys are obviously really talented that make this stuff. So great production value. I mean, this is this is a uh, quality work. All right, see what they got. There's a difference between you and me, Willie. I fought till I was actually free, Willie. I got my face on a corner. Yeah. You got trolls and quarter. Lost. Tortured on the orders of yeah. a king, really? How's it get beat by two? Hold on, so did they make the, the gross wooden teeth or whatever? Okay. Trying to get all the all the, the, the stories right in there. Oh, <laughs> Crossing the Delaware. Look at you in your little blousey outfit, looking like a stiffer white dick than your monument. I'll knock the fuck out, mate. Monument. You died on slaves. I don't set a man free. free. That's the Highland way. This kind of prick couldn't beat me in a foot race. I was emasculated, eviscerated. I'm mad, jumped off, and they put it on a plate. I still fight time to bust the garlic rhyme. I rip your Yankee doodle arse on the mic. I'll knock your face off your moolah. I'm a cobra. He was, he fought for the British first, right? a fighter. That was good they um went to like more just kind of getting at each other trying to, i guess insult each other and in some ways it looks like um washington tried to hit you know with william wallace that you know all this stuff happened to him he got you know killed and his head chopped off and then you know it failed to get the the freedom you know that they had gotten and then um it looked like wallace went after washington for basically like hypocrisy right you got this new nation but you have slaves and you own slaves right and um yeah some of those sort of things like i'm, I'm the more noble character because yeah in the end yeah you made this new free nation but not free for all so the, the tactic they kind of went to that <laughs> interesting all right well that was good that was good for sure all right um yeah, we'll see. Uh, let's see what we got next. Oh, Theodore Roosevelt versus Winston Churchill. Uh, I didn't have that one on my list. I didn't see that one on there, but we'll have to get to that one maybe another time. Okay, let's pull up next tab I had. Uh, Gandhi versus Martin Luther King Jr. All right, well, um, there are similarities that these guys can do because they were big proponents of uh, nonviolent um Nonviolent protest, right? Uh, Martin Luther King was definitely influenced by Gandhi, so I wonder if they'll make that connection there, um, especially the nonviolent protest thing. Like it worked with Gandhi, right? Um, and getting helping to get independence from the British Empire without having to go to wars and stuff, which India had tried and failed to do in the past. Uh, Martin Luther King, you know, Jr., uh, doing the same thing. Martin Luther Jr., Mark, Martin Luther King Jr., took a lot of crap from a lot of people uh, within his community about kind of the non-violence um, kind of thing, like like more passive, I guess, in a way, of type of protest, where they said that's, you know, very weak and you're just kind of a tool of um, their opposition and all that stuff. So there's a similarity there. I don't know how much they're going to hit, but because like I guess this one's pretty short, just over a minute and a half. But uh, all right, let's check it out. They're very good. 
Okay. Okay. Oh, there's Key and Peel. <laughs> awesome. These guys are funny. All right. Let's see what they got. They look good. Let's just look at them again real quick. Yeah, I just gotta get the suit and the mustache. Gandhi. Yeah, yeah, pacifist. Pacifist. Oh, yeah. 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 That's what they said about him. That's what he was accused of. We got more beef than one of your sacred cows, but I'm about to forgive you so hard right now. I am possibly resisting the fact that you suck. I am celibate because I don't give a fuck. <laughs> Who won? Who's there? You decide. Uh-oh. Oh, those guys are so good, though. I, I love um, Key and Peele. Their, their show is so funny. They're so talented. Um, that was great. Short, <laughs> short and sweet. Uh, you know, they he jumped right in, or Gandhi jumped right in with just saying, "Hey, you, like you plagiarized me and all that stuff." And you know, Martin Luther's like, "Yeah, I get it, but hey, you, you went after the personal stuff. You stink and um, all those sort of thing. You got you got street credit, right? Got my name on the sign. What was the what was the the famous joke from whatever comedian that was that you know Martin Luther King Jr. was this person about uh, peace and equality." And that sort of thing. But then, like, you know, he's got his name on signs. But it's, what's the joke that, you know, the, the, the streets that have are named after civil rights leaders are often the ones that are the most violent in those communities. And, um, but yeah, so, no, that was, that was, that was really funny. Um, <laughs> that was great. So who won? Oh, yeah, go back to the last one. Who won between Wallace and Washington? I don't know. Gandhi and Martin Luther King. Man, I don't know if you could pick a winner. Uh, put put down who you thought won and why. Um, in there, I guess you. I mean, I don't know. I just think you can make cases for both of them. Now, I definitely noticed like there's a lot of it. The content is really fast moving. There's almost every single line has some kind of like historical pun to it. So I think I would have to watch these over and over again to pick up everything. It's like every word they've done, every line they've done is very. It's it's very um, intentional, right? So you could probably look at it. It does move fast, but look at it again over time and see, um, get more and more out of it in a way. Okay, cool. All right, we're going to do one more um, for today's video. And this one is Eastern Philosophers versus, versus Western Philosophers. Great idea. Great idea. Eastern Philosophy versus Western Philosophy. So Eastern Philosophy, you're probably going to get in, um, what, like uh, Confucius and Lao Tzu and um, some of these guys from, from China and the West, probably, well, probably the Greeks, probably definitely see the Greeks in there. We'll see if they go later, whether they stay ancient or whatever, but we'll see. This one's four minutes, 19 seconds. So it's a little bit longer ones. Okay. So cool. All right. This is the last, um, epic rap battle we'll watch today. Um, and yeah, let's see how this one goes. Hopefully it's a good one. Okay. Lao Tzu, okay, good, good, good. Art of War. Great hair and stuff there. Got the long, wise beard, right? Sun Tzu. Wait, Lao Tzu, Sun Tzu. Am I mixing them up between Art of War? Crap, top of my head. Whatever. Okay, Confucius, yeah, you, I mean, it's Eastern philosophy. I mean, Confucius is Confucius. the most influential. Wait, wait, Nietzsche, uh, Nietzsche German? Sun Tzu. Nietzsche. Oh, and they got the big old mustache. Look at that handlebar. Socrates. So, oh yeah, Socrates. I mean, a lot of people consider him the father of Western um, uh, philosophy. There, 
up there. Yep, at the uh, in the Acropolis. Voltaire, probably the most I think most interesting of the of the um, Enlightenment philosophers. I mean, the dude just he uh, he he went after all the institutions, hardcore um, religion, uh, the state, just society as a whole. So yeah, a big thing on freedoms, right? Like uh, freedom of religion, freedom of um, especially freedom of the press was the big thing from him. Those sort of things. So okay, good good cast here. All right, let's start with the bodily west. On these East infections, you've never been our type of mental brethren. We're better, 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 better men. This type okay. of arrogance is sure to be expected from men who speak of wisdom with no clue of what respect ah, is. The Westerners are slapping being respect. disciplined in life. You lack control of yourselves and of the mic. <laughs> well, we use precise strikes to disrupt your concentration. Okay. And you and ass whipping our descendants will honor for generations. We build a nation with patience and the present for living. And you never hold a candle to the wisdom we've written. written. Oh, I'll give you something you could bow a cow, cow to when I squat down and squeeze out. <laughs> you need to take control of the life you're giving. They call me Uber, Mensch, cause I'm so driven. Yeah. Every taker, so confronting conformists like you. It's my job. Got a sharp wit, like a spit, it'll screw you like a confusion. Come on. Oh. You fuck the mission. I'm beating yourself, Mr. Vest, into submission. This is now more distance than letters and pamphlets and plays. I've been published. Now that we've covered the two you can change, I can move on to Jackie Chan. Since who I'll be picking a pot, you'll rule with my method. Mad. The seminal general isn't so tough on the mic. Are your men must be like you would have. So fast, I have to keep it. So you better get your. Oh wait, okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. White boys getting burned, cause guess what? Not a sun's out. Asians spitting sick, but no, this isn't SARS. Loud C, kick the beat. Now Confucius drop some bars. Let me be candid with you, Voltaire. Friendship with the egg noodle hair. The ego's just so distracting. Free speech doesn't mean just keep yapping. So I gotta ask, did he die the same when he made your mustache? You try to plant a new German psyche, but you just don't hate me. No, sir. Oh, they're going after each other? If that was the point, right? Yeah. You gotta have the Both war guy, right? Most useful when it is empty. Uh, Loud C, I don't mean no disrespect, but you need to fill your bowl with some shit that makes some sense. Oh, oh, now they're going after each other. Get out the way. Yeah, where is the tradition of rap battles? Is it written that two dudes on the same team should squabble like some cluck and chicken? Man, Confucius, you always trying to put something in its place. Why don't you tell your eyebrows they need to feel better on your face? Okay, I'll see you. What what is winning? That's that's brilliant. Because it's philosophy. What is winning, right? That was great. There were so many characters there, huge characters in the history of philosophy here. And I like how they all they all started turning on each other too. And because I mean, philosophers they're gonna disagree with each other uh, as well. So yeah, you just got a little bit of a piece of each of their kind of philosophies there. Um, so that was, uh, that was great to see it, man. That was, that was very fast though for, you know, it's like a four minute video, uh, four minute song or whatever. 
that you know you definitely have to watch it over and over again and again see all the lines and how they fit i mean yeah some of it's just like the personal attacks but i th- i think the best ones that are you know with these epic rap battles are when they use like actual of their own his their own character's history or the other person's character and use those as either puns or something like that to go after each other i think that's like the that that's the most entertaining thing you know to me but of course you, you got to go after the personal attacks right um so all right great Okay, well, awesome. Um, we'll call it there for today. Uh, we'll probably check out more epic rap battles of history with the other history figures um, later on. So if you like this and you like those, you know, the epic rap battles, stay tuned for sure. Um, subscribe if you haven't, uh, if you, you know, want to be able to. If you don't, great. I'm, I'm glad you're here. You came and watched. A um, couple other invitations if you have video suggestions. Um, you can leave them in the uh, in the comments. Um, also, invitation to uh, join our Discord server. We have a Discord server that's that's up and running and uh, very active right now with um, the, a great little historical community of people that kind of know their stuff, have fans, um, and are fans of history in general that are, come on in. There'll be a link to join the Discord if you would like to uh, down in the um, down in the description. So um, you're invited to join that as well. So yeah, if you like these guys, uh, epic rap battles, uh, make sure you go, please, please go back, go to uh, the original videos. Um, I'll try to include, I'll try to include those here in the description as well. Um, if you don't know these guys, I mean, these guys seem, I mean, massive. So you've probably done that, but it's it's always important uh, to go to the original content creators if you like that stuff. I'm just here, you know, reacting and commenting on it. That make sure you give them the likes and subscribes and the views because. Uh, they're the ones that earn it the, or, or deserve it the most. So, all right. Well, with that, I think we'll uh, call it a day here. Um, I again appreciate you for coming and helping this channel grow. Hope we had some fun, learned a little bit, and uh, hope to see you again as soon as possible. Bye.